Hey guys, my name is Roman. Hi, I'm Sharon. And we are at the grand opening of a new MMA and BJJ gym yeah. at, in Taichung, right? And the name of it is the Bears Den BJJ and MMA. Baby?我们今天是来参加雄派巴西柔术,还有格斗学院的开幕活动。那你可以看到这边呢,其实是中部它的道馆占地最大,然后还有拥有全国顶阶的MMA训练课程,还有专业的教练团队。do you know what is MMA? Uh, mixed martial arts. MMA is a重合格斗,包括说力技啊,摔技,还有请技,然后也有包括巴西柔术,泰拳,重合格斗,脚力,柔道和提示能课程,所以如果你是有兴趣,但是完全没有基础的朋友们,你们一样可以来这边参加他
I don't want to come and get punched in the face. Exactly, that's what right? I fear. So we offer many different types of classes. We have Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, where there is no punching or no kicking. It's uh, solely focused on control and pinning and submitting your, your opponent. So if, you're fear, if you have a fear of being punched in the face, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is perfect for that. I think a lot of people are concerned about injuries, mm. right? Because yeah. people associate martial arts with something dangerous, right? Yeah. Uh, how about that point? Like, can we cl clarify that thing for Yeah, people? So, so just like with any sport, there's a possibility to get injured. You could get injured playing badminton. You could get injured playing tennis. We have people who play ping pong who have gotten injured oh, wow. and hurt their wrist. So with any sport or physical activity, there's always the possibility of injury. Now, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is extra safe because as soon as you get your opponent or you catch them in a lock, you have the opportunity to tap your opponent. And that's kind of like, uncle, uncle, I give up. And then the person won't continue to attack you. You can tap early, we call it a tap. You can tap early, round is over, and then you can keep going. So very, very, very rarely do people get injured. And one of the things that I've noticed a lot, especially in young kids, is the level of confidence that improves. I've had many parents who come and they bring their kids to me and their kids are maybe shy, yeah. or their kids are maybe bullied a little bit at school. Introverted. Introverted, that's right. But then they come to a martial arts gym and you're meeting so many different people of so many walks of life. And you can have a 16-year-old young boy who's kind of been sheltered and then he's, he's training with professional fighters or he's training with doctors, he's training with other people who are, who, who are also really good and happening in life and stuff like that. So. Yeah. So yeah, it's, that is great. It's really I think good. The, the community here. Another thing, I think the last point that I want to mention here. How about the language? Because you're a foreigner. I saw also a bunch of foreigners there. Yeah. Uh, and I think some people have struggles with English. So do you have uh, Chinese coaches or do you speak Chinese? So yeah, we the Jiaolian do hui shou English and Zhang Wen. We are all Shuang Yu. No question. Yeah. No question. Yeah. yeah. So guys, if you are a foreigner, or if you are a Taiwanese person. Please come here, check it out. This is a very friendly environment and there's nothing to fear, nothing to be afraid of. People are here super nice and chill. Please come and enjoy training with these people and with Dmitri himself. Yeah. All right. Thank hey, you it was very a much. pleasure, Roman. Thank it you very much. Pleasure. Thanks for coming. Thank you for inviting. All right, Thank awesome. Now it's time right. for you to get some training. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Baby, are you, are you nervous? A little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay guys this is pretty much it we have tried everything at least i tried everything 
I'm so tired. I'm fucking dying. Mm-hmm. Uh, very tired. Yeah. But I'm alive. What was that? Is it fun? Yes, it was a lot of fun. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. 然后刚刚我看他们这边的课表啊，其实不只是格斗，也有一些如果你想学动物流瑜伽。这种比较柔和的也是有所以不用害怕来这边那这边的话是在台中的北屯区文心路这边如果你们有兴趣的话我们都会放他们的连接在下面让大家看那希望你会喜欢我们今天的影片那我们就下个影片见咯记得不要